Hello, welcome to this video series looking at indices and primes. In this particular video, what we're going to be having a look at is prime numbers and composite numbers. So let's start with a definition. A prime number is a counting number that has exactly two factors, itself and one. Now, counting number, by the way, these are just numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, numbers that you count with. So let's have a look at a couple of examples here of some prime numbers. So the number three is a prime number. And what makes three a prime number is, well, the only numbers that go into three are three and one. Okay, because three times one is three, but no other numbers go into three. So this makes three a prime number. Another example of a prime number is seven. Okay, because the only numbers that go into seven are seven and one. So another prime number is two. And two is a pretty special prime number because it's the only even prime number. The only factors that go into two are two and itself, and this makes it into a prime number. But you've got to think for every other number, well, themselves and one will go into it, but also the number two, if it's an even number, will go into it. So two is the only even number that is a prime number. And you'll see this in a second when we have a look at composite numbers. In fact, let's have a look at composite numbers right now. So let's now have a look at composite numbers. A composite number is a number that has more than two factors. An example of this is six. Uh, six is a composite number because it has the following factors. The numbers one and six go into six. One times six is equal to six. But we also have two other numbers that go into six, which are two and three, because two times three is also equal to six. So because six has four factors, six is a composite number. And you can also look at it as I was saying before, six is an even number that's not two, and we straight away know that two is going to go into it. So we can also know that little clue there that six is going to be a composite number. What about we have a look at another example? What about the example of 15? Now 15 is a composite number. It has the following factors, one and 15, but the other numbers that go into 15 are three and five. Because it has more than two factors, 15 is also a composite number. And just a little hint here, when you're looking to see whether a number is prime or composite, apart from also just being an even number that's not two, you can look for this little clue. If the number finishes in a five or a zero, and the number's not five, because five is a prime number, but we also know that any number that is divisible by five ends in a five or a zero. So it's a good little clue for looking for composite numbers. If the number finishes in a five or a zero and the number's not five, it's going to be a composite number. So now let's have a look at a couple of examples. Are these following numbers prime or composite? So let's have the first number is 11. Is it a prime number or a composite number? So what factors does 11 have? 11 has the following factors, one and 11. Because it only has two factors, it's going to make 11 a prime number. Hopefully you got that right. What about another example? What about the number 12. Okay, what factors does 12 have? So 12 has a whole bunch of factors, and you'll probably think of these really quickly. We have 1 and 12, but we also have the numbers 2 and 6, because 2 times 6 is equal to 12. But we also have the numbers 3 and 4. So we know that 12 is a composite number. Now, the other thing which might have given this away is because 12 is an even number that's not 2, we also could have said pretty much straight away that 12 was a composite number. What about one last example? What about a really hard example now? What about we go the following number, 1032? Is that a prime number or a composite number? So you can look at this straight away and say, well, we know that this is a composite number. And what tells us this without working out any of the factors? Because it finishes in a two, we know that this number is going to be a composite number without doing any calculations here because 1 and 1032 will go into it and 2 and 516 will go into it without doing any other uh, factor trees or anything like this we know that this number is indeed composite so hopefully you're going to be okay with these sorts of numbers here anyway we'll see you next time bye